Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about CSS transitions. CSS transitions allow us to go from one element, one element's property, to the next element's property in a smooth way. So you have two properties for the same element, and when a state, there are four states, and we are going to talk about them, when a state is triggered, then that transition is going to allow you to move smoothly, transition smoothly from one state to the next state. So um, uh, in the markup, we have a div with an idea of block. And you, this is the trick that you can use to create this element. This is an emit trick. You can look up Emmet. There is a lot of tricks. You can basically create your entire markup in one, in just one um, um, shorthand or one tr Emmet trick that you want, if you want. So, first off, I'm going to provide some uh, properties for the body, and we have already talked a lot about these. I'm just going to I'm just going to provide them here. We do have our box, but because it's it doesn't have any content, it's basically shrunk to zero. So let's grab it by the ID. I'm going to say height 250 width 250. So it is a square. Background color is amazingly Peru. I mean, like it's even the name of a country, the name of a color. I wish Afghanistan was the name of a color as well, but I guess not. So here it is. And uh, hmm. Let's see. Uh, what am I? What I'm trying to do here is, uh, what I would like to do is, I'm going to grab a transform property, and whenever this block is activated, a state on this block is triggered. I want to move it. Uh, sorry, I want to rotate it. So what do I mean by that? So first, um, let's talk about states. So the first state that I want to talk about is hover. So let's grab this block. And hover states are actually pseudo class selectors. That's why their syntax resembles a pseudo class because they're actually pseudo classes. So it's a hover pseudo class, uh, visited pseudo class, uh, active pseudo class, and what was the other one? Um, uh, kinda, I lost the. Uh, we have hover, we have visited, we have active, and then we have the link pseudo class as well for anchor elements. So whenever it says the hover pseudo class or active state or the hover state, it means that whenever you're, you mouse on it, your mouse moves over it, then it is hover, like a hovercraft. Then what do we want to do? So in that case, I want to grab the transform uh, property transform, which I always, always misspell. I'm going to say rotate, uh, rotate it by one turn. Also, I'm going to change the border radius, the border radius in the, in the process of rotating it to 50%. Like I'm converting it from a, um, a, uh, a square to a circle. And I'm going to give it a background color of teal. I'm going to save it. Now, when I hover on it, it is going to change. It is going to, all these styles will be applied immediately, like, like in the blink of an eye. There we go. See? Now, whenever you want to control these two states, like the normal state and this hover state, that's where uh, transitions come into play. Now, in CSS, we have two kinds of animations. One is a transition. The second one is an animation. A transition is a two-state animation, like going from 1 to 2 or going from 0 to 100. There never will be a state in between. You will never have three states in, an, in a transition. But animations, they can have technically an unlimited amount of uh, states. So you can have, you can go from 0 to 1% to 2% to 10%, 20 and all the way to 100. So you're going to end up with 100 different states if you want to apply animations on a certain element. 
but in transitions you just have two states so you have the normal state and then you have some sort of other state whether that is hover or active usually usually for the most part uh, transitions are used with the hover state and the active state for the most part they're used with the hover state so now you can see because there is no transition it is being just sharply changed very rapidly from one state to the next state but what happens when you provide that tr that transition so transition is um, a short actually there are a lot of transition properties which I'm not going to dive very deep into I'm just going to show you the shorthand of it because it's a very very sophisticated property and an entire chapter has to be dedicated to it I have covered all about transitions in my uh, HTML5 CSS3 bootcamp course so I have two courses for HTML5 and CSS3 one is the boot uh, the HTML5 elements and CSS3 bootcamp course the other one is the Flexbox the modern Flexbox great SaaS and animations developer course if you want to become a fantastic HTML CSS developer you should watch the bootcamp course first then the developer course next first the L HTML5 elements CSS3 properties then the Flexbox great and SaaS that's it I'm not gonna mark it anymore so the first argument is going to provide the first value is going to specify which property you want to transition so if you provide all it means all the properties within the hover are going to be transitioned so let's say you just want to transition the color so you just provide the name of that property it is background and you can see that uh, uh, IntelliSense doesn't work there then you need to provide how long you want this transition to take place let's say five seconds then you need to provide what is the style or the timing function for this transition what is the style how do you want it to transition how do you want this transition to dance sort of like that so you can say ease in start easy and end easy that's what ease and out means let's save that so now uh, remember only the background color is going to have a smoothness to it when it changes from this Peru to teal the other elements they're they're just going to sharply change as they were we just applied that transition on this one so let's take a look at it now you can see that it's sh it's slowly and smoothly changing the background color I'm going to show it to you one more time see slowly going to Peru it's like a gradient effect the reason that it takes so long is because it's five seconds let's put it to two seconds there we go there we go just the color right and now you understand this so I'm just gonna set it to all and I'm gonna save it now all of them are going to transition I'm gonna set it to one second so let's save that there we go now you can see rotate is also changing the reason that you couldn't see it rotate was because it was sharply changing in less than a second it wasn't observable now it is so we are rotating it at the same time we are changing the border radius at the same time we are putting uh, a background color on it and you're going to end up with it with a circle so this is how you can create uh, very cool hover effects in uh, uh, in css this is like a prime example of it prime example would be like a link but you can do that with any element that you want we have already done that with a link before right there we go so only two states this this state specifies this transition going from this state to this state that's it for this lecture see you in the next one